remember growing up in a project. I seen my friends get killed. You know, I seen family members get killed. But I knew one thing that, you know what? If I live to see tomorrow, I'm going to make that change. Master P was raised in uptown New Orleans in the Calio Projects, a crime-infested housing unit where there were few escape routes, except maybe sports or doing something illegal. You know, Master P basically came from, from nowhere, I mean, literally. I mean, he grew up poor and built from scratch uh, an empire worth hundreds of millions of dollars. But before those millions, there was much struggle. P had to find a way out for himself and his family. He did that by developing his natural talents as a basketball player and as an artist. He realized his first dream playing college ball and then later dabbling in the NBA. You know, I mean, I had to work hard to be able to come from the hip-hop business and last that long in the NBA. That know that people knew that, you know what, P is in shape. He began his journey in hip-hop selling vinyl out of the trunk of his car, and in no time he took it to the next level. Behaving like an entrepreneur instead of an employee, he used a family inheritance to open No Limit Record Store in Richmond, California. Well, like, he's a real entrepreneur. He's not just, I'm talented. It's like, I'm the entrepreneur. I'm the person who takes the ideas from hip hop and spreads them and builds it. Before long, the record store gave way to the record company, and P began making music about the way he grew up. The Ghetto's Trying to Kill Me was followed by a string of hits, including Ice Cream Man. He did all this with no support from commercial radio or MTV. Unstoppable, he set his sights next on film and television. His breakthrough film, 1997's I'm Bout It, a hilarious autobiographical sketch, became a smash hit and led to a string of successful box office moneymakers, including I Got the Hookup. P didn't stop with movies. He branched out into sports management, clothing lines, phone cards, pagers, and Fortune magazine named him one of the most powerful and wealthiest entertainers in the world. He's extremely obsessed with the business, and that's why No Limit is more than just a record label. He is a big picture guy. I mean, he has a vision for something. He makes it happen. You know, I mean, he envisioned taking this company national, and he did. He envisioned setting up a line of clothing, and he did. He has kind of taken everyone with him and brought him where no one really ever envisioned a kid from the Calier Projects would go. In addition to providing all those jobs, he also provides affordable low-income housing for residents of his community and gives his time, not just his money, to many charities. Whatever I can do to help the kids or anybody in need that, that's a part of my environment, I, mean, I think that's more important than money, that's more important than anything. Clearly, Master P has done it all, but he's probably most proud of his own son, up-and-coming rap star, Lil Romeo. My father probably instilled in me to be a multi-platinum artist. It's the biggest project they ever had. We're just having a lot of fun while we're doing this. But in the meanwhile, I want to be an NBA player, one of the best. Master P, a soldier, a family man, and a role model for the hip-hop nation. Uh, this year's Image Award goes to Master P. Yo, I just want to thank everybody in hip hop because I couldn't do this alone. And uh, y'all know we came a long way. This the new No Limit family, and we've been we we've been through the struggle. We've been on top. We want to thank. First of all, I got to thank the man up above because without him, yes. could none of this happen. Yes. Yes. Also. Also, you know, I mean, I grew up in the projects and I never could imagine that one day I'd be sitting up here being an inspiration, knowing that, you know what, if he could do it, we all could do it. And I think that's what everybody in the room is for because, you know, I got to look up. I'm going to be a couple of people I want to mention that I looked up to, you know what I'm saying? I definitely got to take my hat off to rap a lot records, Lil J. You know what I'm saying? For real. I'm going to tell y'all. Without Lil J, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at. I'd probably be still in the hood hustling, trying to make it, trying to survive. And I, I, I'm going to tell y'all, definitely I got to take my hat off to cash money for, you know, definitely for representing, you know what I'm saying? For real, for real, for real, for real. Kelly, yo, Magnolia, on the top. Check out the winning